Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I'd like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. If you like these videos about feet and medicine, hit that subscribe button. Maybe you've been home a lot over the last couple weeks. I know I have been. In fact, it got to the point where I finally needed to get my hair cut and all of the um, you know, barbers and, and hairstylists are closed right now, um, at least where I am. And so my, my wife finally took a stab at it. Well, not my head, but just my hair. And uh, I thought she did a pretty good job, but maybe you're having the same trouble with your toenails. Now, um, if you're diabetic and or you have neuropathy or poor circulation, please, you've got to be really, really careful. Um, I would strongly recommend that you call your local podiatrist and go to see um, your doctor to have that done. Go see your podiatrist and have that done. If you're at home and you have good eyesight and um, you need to cut your toenails and you can reach down and do it, um, I well, I already made a video showing you the instrument that I use, and I'll leave a link to that video so you can you can check that out. Uh, otherwise, you're probably using scissors or you're using something like this. This is what I use to cut my fingernails. But I just want to let you know that you know you don't have to use my instrument to do it. That might be a little bit aggressive. Um, having that big, it's it's basically a double action. Like it's almost like a bone cutter. Um, it's not. It's for toenails, but it's the same idea. It gives you a lot of leverage when you're cutting through real thick toenails. Um, that might be a, a little bit aggressive. You got to be really careful using those. I just want to let you know that um, you can buy toenail clippers like this online and have them shipped right to your house. And it's it's a lot. It might be a little bit easier for you to use an instrument like this on your toenails. They're, they've got a bigger jaw. And as long as you can manipulate it well with your fingers, um, you should be able to cut your toenails um, pretty safely. So you got to be careful. But again, if you're having trouble um, doing that, you got to call your doctor and have them do that. And hopefully, you can find one that's open um, during these tough times that will that can get you in and can do that for you safely. So I'll leave a link uh, below to one of the uh, um, larger toenail clippers, like I just showed you, and uh, you know maybe that's something that can help you out. Um, I think I'm going to have to do the same with my hair, maybe buy some better scissors. We were using some cheap ones. I think I got to up the ante and get some more professional scissors. So we're both in the same boat, just on opposite ends of our body. Well, thanks for watching my video. Be healthy. I'm Dr. Dave. I'll see you on my next video.